Hello, Mina. I'm Shabos, and welcome to watch my video today. It's the item review video, and the item I'm going to review is this guy, high grade perfect strike Gundam. Nice picture on the box, and uh, we can see some Photoshop about how you will get in the box. And uh, some picture for the HD remaster version of Gundam Seed. And here's the pilot, Mula Flocker. Okay, perfect striking game. So let's for the box. Yeah, put it to the side and let's bring in the main item, which is the Strike Gundam. As we can see, now it's uh, this on equipment version. Because I think this will be easier to do the articulation. Um, so, the articulation. First, I must say, this guy, uh, even it's a new release, but it's actually using the old model of HG uh, L Strike Gundam long time ago. So, it's not a very good uh, range of articulation. So, the head can go sort of 360 but a little bit hinged by these two black piece. Hope you can see it. And uh, up and down, about that far, no any chicken movement. And the arms can go 360. The shoulder can go like this a little bit. The arms can go highest, like only this high. And uh, the worst thing is it only go 90 degree in the elbow. Unbelievable. And the wrist joint, of course, 360. There's no any chest or stomach movement. There's only a waist, not even 360. Yeah. And uh, the front skirt, typical front skirt, two piece connect together. The wait, the side skirt. A little bit up and down, uh, forward and back a little bit, and there's no armor Schneider in inside. There's just a solid piece. Uh, the back skirt doesn't move. Uh, the legs can go this far at the front, and this at the back. Only this from the uh, side to side. And uh, the knee joint is also only 90 degrees. So the angle guard move up and down. The feet can go this far in front, this far at the back. It's okay, it's pretty good. And uh, a little bit side to side. So let's start the articulation for the Gundam itself. Um, you don't get any uh, swapping hands. This is the only tool you have holding weapon hands. And uh, the 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 greatest thing about this kit, it's not the articulation, it's the accessories. Because Perfect Strike Gundam have comes with old the accessories with L Strike sword and launcher. So the fun part is a lot of things that you can do with this kit, and it's not expensive. Oh, by the way. Uh, the stickers, there are tons of stickers for this guy. The white, you can see here, the, these two white pieces, they're actually stickers. And this four, one, two, three, four, this four gray part, they are stickers too. And of course the eyes. And um, let me see, anything else? Yeah, others are just plastic. And uh, the shoulder, it's just a white piece, complete white piece. The gray you can see here, it's actually... The paint. I painted myself. This four uh, gray part, and you can see some stickers, uh, like the the symbol of the pilot, and some numbers. They're actually stickers, not water slide, just stickers. So this is basically for the main body. Let's uh, let's take a look at some of the accessories. So you have the shield. Of course it doesn't look like this, it's only two pieces, uh, white and red combined together. The white here, and this free yellow part, I painted myself, so it looks better. 
much much better and um, let me see legs a connection joint this will connect uh, here there's two gap you just put it put it on and uh, connect with this hole so you have a shield and you have a beam gun beam gun beam rifle uh, the handle can move like this and you have this this is the most disappointing shit in this whole set the arms with a plastic beam saber you have they have beam saber handles but they didn't give you any beam effect part this is pretty ex this is just disappointing but you can take any of other HG high grade version of the beam sword just stick in the the beam sword handle I'll take one to show you so this is the handle you can see there's a hole I think pretty much every see I think pretty much every high grade beam sword will do just put it just put it in the hand there you go I will just introduce um, the accessories and then I'll put it on okay so this is the shoulder armor for launcher for launcher strike it's two pieces uh, here you just put it onto the shoulder oh sorry wrong side okay like this and of course you have the shoulder armor for sword strike I think left four pieces these two connect together to, f to form an armor and you have this wired thing to go on the top and a boomerang oh wait for the boomerang you have an effect part for the boomerang like this and you can hold it on the hand and uh, for these two shoulder armors the red you can see here the yellow and the red at the back and the all the darker blue here here and here they're all stickers okay so this guy just have tons and tons of stickers uh, and uh, this is the connect joint uh, with the shield but here we use it to connect with this anchor shot it's kind of shield but it's much smaller here you put it on the left arm of course you can swap it you can put it on the right arm as well and this cannot open if you want open version you should change it with this you should change it with this and there's a wire they give you so connect the wire here and uh, this will connect back into the shield itself so you can create the scene about he's shooting to grab an enemy I think he use it well once or twice in the animate okay put it back and then the greatest part about this of course is the striker pack the perfect strike on them have this the striker pack can combines with L strike uh, the sword and the launcher cannon so three part in one go so this is pretty easy you just put it on the back just connect them together and uh, adjust fins to make it not jammed together especially the sword and here you have wait wait <laughs> and here you have perfect strike oh. okay so here is the perfect strike looks pretty good oh, and uh, let me see the yellow here 
on the cannon and here this red dot and the red dot on the other side there are stickers on the cannon and the sword the sword uh, the blue piece the white piece and blue piece here there are stickers um, the red on the wings these two there are stickers too and the yellow here yellow two side and uh, another two side layer stickers this battery pack they are all just whole just a piece of white the black you see here okay I paint those wi uh, white piece black so it looks uh, better it looks more realistic this whole white piece is just not right so this is everything you got basically uh, you still have these two bin effect which will be used uh, for the sword like this and this will go at the back yeah okay so you have the sword like this of course you can hold it no problem So just open the arm, open the hands, and uh, oh, and put it back together. Here you have the sword. Uh, that's a hole. I don't know if you can see inside uh, the white piece. So to make it easier, I'm gonna bring in an action base. And of course, you can uh, wiggle in about with the the cannon, but it's it's not easy. It's the most difficult things in the world. So the easiest way to do it is just take this whole arm off and adjust in a, adjust it in the same position, and then put it back with the hands. That's the easiest way that I can think about. That's the easiest way that I can think of. So this is basically everything for the perfect strike. Pretty cool. But I'm gonna show you something else. It also comes with this piece. Which is the backpack for air strike. And uh, you have these two little wings which I'm not gonna use it. So I'm gonna show you to get this guy back into his free individual modes L strike sword and launcher strike um, it will be a long video so I'm not gonna show you the whole process of doing it I'm just show you the result okay okay here you have L strike pretty cool you can so you can still put it back just put the guns and shield back and you can have L strike Gundam. As you can see, it becomes uh, the original one battery backpack, and uh, you have to remove this, this, and this three part from the perfect strike pack to the the white piece I told you, and just put it back to strike Gundam. This one's pretty easy. Okay, next one. Okay, and this one is Sword Strike Gundam. As you can see, uh, you can basically you can hold it the sword with two hands. You just need to do the fiddling works. Yeah, looks pretty good. It's okay from uh, this angle. It looks pretty. It, it looks fine, uh, but it's a little bit cheating using the. The perfect strike uh, backpack. You can still uh, store the sword here, but it's the uh, it's not it's not like the L strike. Uh, for L strike, they like, give you the pack the backpack that you can recreate. But this guy and uh, the launcher, you can you should just you can only use the backpack for perfect strike. 
just to kind of recreate uh, the backpack but it looks fine still pretty cool okay so that's the sword strike and finally okay and here you have oh stand here you have launcher strike Gundam as you can see it can hold the gun with two hands too there's another handle that you can push out and uh, this one looks better because yeah you doesn't really see uh, the perfect strike backpack and you still need use the connection so I think this one is pretty cool okay so you can kind of recreate uh, the free individual mode out of this set which is really cool and uh, all the things the shield uh, the L strike backpack and uh, the beam rifle that they gave you to be able to recreate those mode it's pretty cool and by the way this this one is really really cheap so if you want if you like strike Gundam you want to have three modes at once and also get perfect strike this is a pretty sweet set that you can get so I, I like this this is really really good and uh, this is pretty much for this video so I hope you enjoy this video if you do hit the like and comment also share and subscribe hope you enjoy it thanks for watching and don't forget stay safe for the next video